Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Muhammad Sadan Khan. Before watching the video, kindly like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Today our disc uh, discussion topic is formalities to be observed at the time of confession. We will uh, cover in this lecture formalities of confession which, which should be observed at the time of con uh, recording and evidentiary value of confession and then sh a little bit conclusion. First, formalities be observed at the time of confession. The magistrate first, first class at the time of recording the confession of the accused shall observe the following formalities. The magistrate shall make himself satisfied that the accused is ready to record his statement voluntarily and there is no external force, threat, inducement and undue influence on him. He will record his statement voluntarily. That is essential point. Second. The magistrate shall explain to the accused that he is not bound to record uh, his statement or confession or if he makes it that will be used against him as a evidence. Confession shall be recorded by a magistrate himself in the form of questions and answers and the answers given by accused shall be recorded with full and in the language of the uh, and in the language in which in which he is examined or if not practicable by the court or in english It means that the magistrate will ask questions from the accused and the accused will uh, give answer to that questions and after that that answers will be recorded uh, in that language in which he is examined or uh, in the language of the court or in English language after that the statement recorded by a magistrate shall be shown or read over to him or if the accused is in liberty to add anything or if he uh, needs any expla explanation he is free to do that it means that the that recorded statement will be read over and um, shown to the accused also and at that time uh, if accused is in liberty uh, if he have the right to add anything or if uh, he wants any change or if he wants any explanation he, he can do at that time before the signing before the signature of the accused and before the signature of the mm, the magistrate when the accused admitted correct his uh, confession after that that will be signed by um, accused and by the magistrate it's mean that all that uh, statement will be signed by the um, accused and uh, attested by a magistrate the magistrate at the foot of the statement shall make a memorandum in the following manner The magistrate will write that um, accused uh, that I have explained to the accused that he is not bound um, to record any statement or confess anything or if you make it th then after that that will be used against you as a evidence further he will say that I believe that that this uh, confession was made voluntarily 
and after that he will write that this confession w was uh, recorded in my presence and hearing and after that uh, th uh, this uh, that statement uh, sh um, read over to the accused. Now, evidentiary value of confession. Confession is a substantial piece of evidence, and it cannot be regarded as a involuntarily because it is a retracted confession. Now, conclusion of this topic, confession. Confession is a valuable piece of evidence. Therefore, it shall be recorded with due care and diligence, so that to punish the actual culprit. So friends, this was the topic of confession. And in this top and, and, and in this topic we covered the formalities of confession, evidentiary value of confession, and then conclusion. So friends, thanks for watching and keep in touch with my channel. Take care.